So, drum gloves, the fashion police's worst nightmare, apparently. <laughs> I've been getting a lot of comments from people who are curious about the gloves, and I get a lot of questions like uh, why do I wear them, what are they for, where do I buy them, what do they do, and why am I such a faggot? They Wait, what? Anyone who wears gloves when they're drumming is a certified faggot! <sighs> the YouTube comment sections. Every now and again I get these kinds of comments from incel fashion police mouth breathers, but when you dig around on their YouTube profiles you can sometimes track them back to their Facebook profiles. And it turns out that a lot of them are just 12 year old boys from Uganda who spend their Saturday evenings typing out homophobic comments to strangers on the internet, so their opinions usually don't really matter to me. Anyway, back on topic. Why do people wear drum gloves? A lot of people feel that wearing gloves while drumming gives them more control and a better grip, which in turn allows them to play faster. I, on the other hand, would actually argue that the gloves impede control because they add unnecessary weight to your hands and they add another layer between your fingers and the drumstick. Personally, I feel that I can play a lot faster without the gloves and I especially feel that quick and very intricate movements like playing blast beats and stick tricks and super complicated fills with a lot of crossover it's just a lot harder to do with the gloves. And as for the added weight of the gloves, you might be saying, well, oh, these things are super light, that can't possibly make a difference, right? Well, if you're playing 16th notes at, let's say, 250 BPM, even a tiny bit of extra weight uh, gets multiplied, and it can kind of become a problem in the long run if you're doing a gig of like two hours or whatever, or just a really long practice session. Yet, despite all of this, I'm still wearing drum gloves. So why is that? You see, when I started making YouTube videos on a more regular basis uh, a few months ago, um, I hadn't played drums consistently for about two years or so. And because of this, I didn't get the chance to develop harder skin on my fingers. And without thick skin on the fingers, they will start looking like this after just 20 minutes of blast beats. And this is where the gloves come in, because these things do an amazing job in protecting your hands from blisters and carpal tunnel syndrome, and it even feels like they absorb a pretty big deal of the impact from the stick. Something that I really like about these gloves in particular is that you can lock them pretty tight around your wrist for adding some extra stability and support on the wrist, which is very useful for if you're just hitting hard, like I mentioned before, or if you're playing super fast, because you can easily put a lot of strain in your wrist and just fuck it over completely. And strapping this in to add some support really helps. I actually got myself a new pair of gloves recently, and uh, well, these are the old ones, as you can probably guess. <laughs> and even though these gloves are completely ruined and just torn to pieces, it's not like it's some cheap shit that I just stole from a homeless guy. These are pretty high grade, high quality gloves, and they've lasted for, I don't know, six months, maybe. And it just goes to show how much damage can really be dealt if you're playing blast beats or just super fast and super hard. And if this is what the gloves end up looking like after half a year of drumming, imagine how my puny little princess fingers would start looking like. It's not a pretty sight. As you can see, the thumb on the right is just completely broken. The uh, padding on the right index finger is starting to come off. There's a small hole over it. There's also a hole on the ring finger, but that was because I'm a stupid retard wearing a ring underneath the glove and having metal on one side and the stick just rubbing against it on the other side is a pretty bad idea in general. As for the left hand, the added support for the thumb and the added support for the index finger is almost completely torn off. But otherwise there is really no substantial damage to the left hand. So obviously if you're playing some crazy metal shit like I am, uh, the gloves will start to deteriorate, but they generally do a very good job of protecting your hands, which is why I wear them. And before you ask, yes, I am aware of the fact that if I remove the gloves, I would develop thick skin faster. But I've kind of just gotten used to the gloves now, and they don't seem to impede my speed or my control nearly as much as they used to. In the beginning, I fucking hated these things, but now I still use them because I just really don't miss getting blisters, and I can play for a lot longer right now. I feel that these gloves are probably the drummer's equivalent to a condom. Most people would probably prefer not to use it, 
but it just saves you a lot of worries. So, in conclusion, I would say if you don't feel like you need drum gloves, don't buy them, because I have these to protect my hands and some people feel like they add control and add speed and whatever. I feel kind of the opposite. Obviously there are divisive opinions about the subject. I would say these are primarily good for protecting your hands and you can argue they might add a little grip but only when you've warmed up with them because these things are super slippery when you just put them on. So anyway, if you're having trouble with blisters and damaging your hands from playing drums, I'd say get some drum gloves, and otherwise I wouldn't recommend it. But I feel like it's up to the individual, so you can go try some gloves, and if it works for you, that's great. If it doesn't, well, don't, don't buy them. Why, why would you do that? <laughs>